Folks, we're gonna kill some fire ants. So let me show you how I'm doing that with a new product I've been using a couple of years. I've got a video on how to kill fire ants. It's got about 800,000 views. And I, I do swear by that method, but if you want an easier method, no muss, no fuss, this is it. And it gets them. Well, we're over here at the pea patch in the garden and I just noticed a fire ant mound right there. As you can tell, my dirt is red. I got red clay, red dirt, and that's what the fire ant mounds look like out here. But what I've done in the past is used a product called Bifen IT, and it'll pretty much kill that mound. But if you don't like mixing up chemicals and you don't like using harsh chemicals, and Bifen is a pretty harsh chemical, if you don't like using harsh chemicals, especially around your garden, if you've got peas or, or anything out in your garden and you really don't want to use anything harsh on it, this is the best way to do that. And it's the easiest way. And it covers a lot of territory. This is something I've been using for a couple of years. You can see the box is all got all funk all over the top of it from dust and stuff sitting in the barn. It's called Advion Fire Ant Bait. And it does a great Job. So what I do is open up the little top of this. It's got a little shaker top and I just squeeze it right here and just what I call to give it a puff or two. You'll see it come out. And this is a bait. With the bait, if you put it on the, around the outside, that's why I like this. If you put it around the outside of your garden or anywhere within, you know, I don't know, 100 feet or something like that, the ants are going to come find it and they're going to bring it back to the nest. I know you're, you're thinking, well, I, you tried Amdro before and you've tried over. I've tried Amdro before too, and I didn't have any luck with Amdro. Uh, over and out, I didn't have any luck with that. This stuff right here works. It takes about a day, sometimes two days, sometimes three. Typically in, in 24 hours, if you stir up the nest, you'll see one or two ants in there. And then the next day you stir up the nest and you won't see anything. So they'll, what they'll do is take these little granules. What they'll do is take those down to mama. Mama down in the nest somewhere laying eggs and stuff. And they'll take the, that, those granules down to mama and kill mama. They don't know they killed them there, but they killed them there. And if you kill mama, you kill the fire ant mound. So I'll uh, bring you back in a couple of days and show you this. The one thing you have to keep in mind, you can't do this if you're expecting rain because these crystals will, will just dissolve in the rain and they won't be able to take them down the nest. So pick a, a day or two that's real dry and uh, sprinkle some on your mounds and, um, and they'll be gone in a couple of days. And I'll tell you why when I still use the bifin. I wouldn't use this in a certain area and I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay, so I found another nest and they are quite active. And whether you see them or not, this is right beside one of my pear trees. So I'm gonna give them a puff or two. Now you don't really have to put it on the mound. In fact, they, they suggest you put it around the mound. They suggest you don't disturb the mound. In other words, surprise attack. You, they think somebody brought food out here for us. So I'm gonna just puff puff some of this most time I do put it on the mound even though they say not to and most time sometimes I have to kick the mound see if it's a, a live mound or if it's one I've already killed that one's got some some good activity there you can see them right now they've already started grabbing it they're already grabbing it they've already started grabbing it and taking it to mama so uh, the advantage of this is no mixing, no muss, no fuss. Uh, it's, it's, you can use it around your garden. You don't have to use it in your garden because they come looking for it. Now, why would I use, not use this in certain areas? Well, this, as you can tell, looks like, kind of like chicken feed. So I'm not gonna use this in my chicken pen. So what I do in my chicken pen, instead of using this, I use the uh, the bifin. The bifin works like a son of a gun, but this stuff right here, if you want something just easy, it's about 40 bucks and you just gasped a little bit, but 40 bucks will do, I think it's two acres. And again, I've got 17 acres. Now I do not kill all the ants on my 17 acres, but I do kill all the ants on about two acres. And I've had this 
I've had this one for, I know I bought it either last year or year before last. I think I bought it year before last. So you're not gonna find this just anywhere. Uh, you're not gonna find it at Lowe's or big box store like that. It's gonna be at a chemical company, uh, one that, that caters to, to farm type chemicals probably, or uh, that services the pest control industry and wholesales to them or something like that. You might find it there. I, I, I found it there. I have got one of those near me, and it is. They do have Advion, but they're a couple of bucks higher than Amazon is. So um, so I go to Amazon. I get this stuff delivered, and I don't worry about putting it around my garden. The uh, the ants come get it, and they'll take it back down the, hole, down the hole to mama, and then they're done. So I'll bring you back in a couple of days and show you these dead mounds. I'm going to go look for a couple of more and see if I can find any more. So there's another one right there. It's right by my grapes that I've got in these grow bags. And I'll give it a puff or two. In fact, they're even going up there, crawling up into those grapes, into that grow, those grow bags. So it's good to get them. Let me just give them a puff or two. Just give them a puff of the Advion. And they won't be there in a day or two, but I'll bring you back just a few seconds and show you the results okay so we're out here 24 hours later I just kicked the mound and I see where there's two or three ants on a mound that should have tens of thousands and they're very they seem lethargic usually when you kick them they go crazy they take off running looking for the offender so this is 24 hours later on uh, on this one mound I haven't messed with it yet, so let's stir it up a little bit. I see zero ants. Zero. And this one, after 24 hours, is completely decimated. They should be covering my hands right now. They should be just wearing me out right now. Now, here is a big mound that I sprinkled yesterday when I did the other ones, just didn't show you this one. Sometimes a big mound like this, when I say big, I'm talking about from there all the way to there is 20 inches or more. Okay, we've still got some activity. So this one needs a second dose. You're gonna find that, especially on the big mounds, sometimes you'll have to do a second dose. Okay, this is that big mound that I did the second application on. I've already stirred it some. I do not see any ants. I don't see any. So sometimes it takes, especially a huge mound, like I say, this one's two feet across, two feet from here all the way to there. And, uh, you know, had lots of ants in it, so. Um, sometimes it'll take two, uh, two applications. So, um, I really like the Advion. That's pretty much what I have used exclusively for the last couple of years. And, um, and I've uh, it, it just been very successful. So, this is on the outside. This is a, a outside pasture. Uh, this is not part of the uh, two acres that I try to keep ant free so this is just on the outside so anyway uh, I really like it I think you'll like it and um, I think it'll get them I like it I use it I use it I use if I didn't if I didn't like it I wouldn't recommend it because uh, it's good stuff I really like it the biffin works great if you don't mind mixing up chemicals and, and you know putting harsh chemicals in your ground because the biffin is pretty rough but um, but the biffin will get them and I do use biffin in the chicken pen because I don't like to sprinkle these little granules in the chicken pen. I'm afraid those chickens will, will, uh, will eat it. Anyway, I think we have killed enough fire ants for you. <laughs> All right, so we are gone.